Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! All right, where do we begin tonight, guys? We have Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, nice intro. We have what is this? The Jimmy Kimmel theme song. Come on, Hello. Danny. Come on. Oh, you get guys it together. Are serious? Ah, uh, <laughs> you got it. You got you us. You duped us. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we are silly and goofy tonight. Are ready? <laughs> finish it. Finish it, Danny. Sing it. Come on. What is up, AfterBuzz TV Nation? We are here to recap another <laughs> Bachelor episode. It is season 19, episode 3. I'm your host and moderator, JC, and let's introduce our wonderful host. Hey, guys. I'm Lauren Solomon. Across and the table. Yep. Continue. What's playing right now? Oops. Oh, that's Kathy. <laughs> I thought we had like a trip. She's alive. She's it's watching. It's a show inside a Kathy show. Kathy is watching us live, and I can hear myself. Whoa. It's weird. We're like in the past. Mind <laughs> blown. My name is Daniel Jacob Hoyt, as given to me by my mother and my father. Aww. And now you know. And the more you know. Yes. Well, Kathy, what's your middle name? Catherine Ann Kelly. Ann Kelly. Oh. Well, Lauren Cack. and yours. Mine is <laughs> <laughs> Lauren <laughs> Kathleen Solomon. Oh. Lauren Kathleen? What, yeah. What's L yours? Slicks. Slicks. Do we really want to go Licks. there? No, there's not His I. middle name is C. Licks. Yeah. My name is oh, yeah. <laughs> Juan Carlos Rubio. Ooh. Yes. Me likey, me likey. Yeah, we won't play the Lion card anymore. We did that. We left that last season. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. with Juan Pablo. I like that, though. Yes, and <laughs> running the ones and twos. Who do we have back there tonight? I'm sure he's not going to say his name. We'll let you guys guess at home. See? Say Philip Eugene Svitek. Oh, we got the Pez. Wow. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hell to the knob. <laughs> All right, guys. So, thoughts. Thoughts on tonight. Overall thoughts with Kimmel. I mean, Love Kimmel. I feel like he brought the personality to the show that some may be lacking. Yeah, yeah geez. <laughs> For sure. That's my thought on tonight. I love Kimmel. I am not in love with Chris. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And I, I like Kimmel coming in because I like when the show makes fun of itself. Yes. Because, come on, it's cheesy it, and it's fun. Like, it felt like an episode of Burning Love between them completely <laughs> blacking <laughs> out Jillian's love. butt the entire episode. Yeah. To, you that's some know. producer's <laughs> joke that's yeah. going to be running the entire episode. It is. She's got a bathing suit on. It has to be one time, like, she just was wearing really short shorts. And then they're gonna do it as a running thing the yeah, entire season. It definitely seems like it. Because the bathing suit seemed fine. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Going with what Lauren said, they should do this more often. I mean, you've been around you're an institution when it comes to dating reality shows. You can poke more fun at yourself. We're all in on the joke. We know what the show's about. But Kathy's gonna say interject. No, I'm I'm pretty sure there was unnecessary censorship, which is Jimmy Kimmel's yes. thing. When Jade was on the bed, she's like, <laughs> what did she say? It was like Oh, I wrote it down on somewhere. A, Bleep myself. Yeah. Oh, she, and it sounded she, like she was about to jump in the bed. She was going to say the F word, but I think it, she just said, oh, I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that was definitely... And I think it'll be on Jimmy Kimmel's episode. Oh, probably. Because they're going to they have to talk totally. about him, himself being on Yeah, on for sure. Episode. Oh, yeah, we got to watch that. we got to check that out. And we got to love, of course, Chris's reaction. Oh, yeah. I it, loved his reaction. That what was so the, funny. Yeah, I can't say it's late yeah. at night, but honestly... Genuinely shocked. Personality. Yeah, Here's he showed some personality. I think he was genuinely annoyed on the first date <laughs> with Jimmy. I think he was. I mean, he played it off cool like they had had some bourbon or whatever. But I think he was, I would be, I think he was annoyed at that point. You would I, be. I would be if I didn't have a personality and couldn't handle it, but he couldn't handle it. I think that's what it is, yeah. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know how yeah. to come back. He had no comebacks. And you could tell Jimmy kind of backed off. 
because he knew that he was throwing punches with a guy who can't throw them back. Yeah. Comedy punches. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. And it, well, they were mean. They were just little jabs here and there that Chris like didn't know what to do. <laughs> Jimmy had the spotlight in the room yep. and was taking it away from Chris, and he didn't know how to get it back. Of course. So that being said, I will say Chris is a good sport for playing into the rest of the situations, like doing Absolutely. the shower scene and something like that was funny. The rehearsed things were better. Yeah, the rehearsed yeah. things were better. Yeah, off the cuff, like he said, he's just... Caitlin was headlights. killing it, though. Yes! Oh. Yeah, Caitlin's Let's money. jump in. Oh, yeah. the person to be on that date. I mean... Oh, yeah, they did it on purpose, for sure. I hate to... Uh, I'm going to editorialize a little bit here. Editorialize. To me... To me this was my favorite date possibly ever. What? Really? Yes, I don't ah, care that's about a little extreme. No, no. <laughs> Costco? I mean, come um, on. We can give the insider scoop on Costco. I, do love Costco. I have <laughs> been there before to that exact Costco. Whoa. They have awesome was hot dogs. Van Nuys? Van Nuys? What? Was that Van Nuys? <laughs> yes. Okay. Duh. Was, okay, okay I've been there too. I've been there too. <laughs> no. <have> not. <laughs> okay, let's take a step back. But it was because it was just like a real date. They were hanging out. That's what you liked about it. Yes, it was natural. And Caitlin is the perfect person for that date. But this entire season, it's been more normal dates, except with the exception of that one helicopter ride. Yeah, I feel like it's been more things that are geared towards his lifestyle, even though you wouldn't necessarily do a relay race or whatever it was today. Um, Hmm. They're all things that are more normal compared to the extravagant things that we've seen on past seasons. Yeah, hopefully those things are coming later. Because you want to see a little bit of that. And there's a picture of Caitlyn, so we can all see at home as well. And if you don't know who she is by now... I do love how real I do love how real she is because on the first on the first after show I kind of said I don't know I don't know about her she came off like so strong yeah. but well, you don't like people right away no we get it <laughs> no she's she's definitely growing on me she's uh-huh. she's definitely real like she's being herself she's very tell. confident which yeah. I yeah. think is cool and she's I mean, different she's a different bird which is fun it's yeah. unique it's, she's she's gold every every ITM what are they called yeah. yeah I don't know that he could handle a girl like her though I don't think he could yeah. that's a great that's, point that's the I thing. agree and I also noticed their kissing chemistry is bad. off like, it's bad he has like good chemistry with certain girls like Brit for sure oh yeah they have great chemistry her like it seemed like Brit at would first would have good kissing chemistry with, with anybody <laughs> Danny wants um, that kiss he wants, he wants it smoke show yeah Yes, it's my favorite word. Um, Brit, but, is, Brit is the smoke show this season. Yeah, she is. Brit, um, if you're watching, Danny. Well, unless unless you're yeah. engaged to Chris so. or the next Bachelorette, which I think should happen. Okay. Anyways, but going back to that, I think that there were times when like Caitlyn was rubbing the lipstick off his face. I was like, she's not into kissing him. That's what it is. Yeah. Because like she was doing like the pecs instead of like a yeah. full on makeout. Sesh. Exactly. That I thought that was so weird. I thought I could I could read that too. The chemistry wasn't good there. Yeah. With the For kissing. a second on that day when Kimmel was there, it seemed like she was having more fun with Jimmy yeah. than she was with Chris. She, do you see the way she grabbed him yes, that one time? She was so was, flirty with him. I was mm-hmm. like, oh. and Agreeing with what you said, she might be too much, but Becca's a smoke show. Uh, not Becca, uh, too Britt. Much butt is no, Jillian. Becca is a smoke show. Yes. But let's say, I think if she doesn't end up with Chris, we all think Britt would be an excellent bachelor. That's real well, they're, early. They're on. Definitely, it's early. It's definitely but early. No, say, I'll no, tell I'm you what. This for a reason, she has though. the personality. They're, to edit- it. they're editing it very. The, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks to me like it is obviously going to be to be bred. Yeah, it's the, just, way just, too early on. No, 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 that's just what I'm obviously. saying by what I what I my experience, experience and the way yeah. I've seen editing work. It's to I me, agree. I think, yeah. That's I it. Agree. I, I was just bringing it up just because I I could see an outside shot. Let's say if Caitlyn didn't end up with. Chris, I could see her possibly even being the Bachelorette. I think they might be worried about her, though, going yeah. and being a loose cannon on a live show like Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. They'd be worried about would, what yeah. she might say. I would love to see somebody like Caitlyn chosen just to switch it up because they're, oh, they're always going to put the yes. girl next door, the like the most loved, nice, beautiful but you person. Know the, show, people, as Danny says. the people yeah. in middle America wouldn't resonate with middle a girl America. that's right. fine with you know, sleeping around and like, even though, like, I think that's more power to you. Like, honestly, yeah, I think she's, she's awesome, honest. <laughs> but I don't think that a lot of people right. would gravitate towards her as the bachelorette. I 100% agree. Someone that's so, I, I that's so open, it, you're but, saying. Yeah. Because as Kimmel brought up, would she be okay if she were to watch the show with Chris if she ended up being... That surprised the, me when she said that. I think it, her, she was joking about it, though. I don't think she bit. was joking. She had yeah. to say no. She can't say yeah and to cause too. drama from the beginning. But I think most girls that go on the show, like, 
I don't know. The way she they, said it, though, um, at the end, she's like, well, then do I get a hall pass? Like, yeah. that was a joke. That was a joke. But if she goes right out and says, yeah, he can't sleep with the other girls, yeah, I'd be upset. Then she presents herself as a dramatic relationship. Like, that's a dramatic relationship now. Yeah. She changes the light that she's viewed in by Chris. So she plays the easy card, so it's not a situation. It doesn't yeah, stick out in like, brain. Laid back about and then it. when we get to that point, I think it's different. Yeah. Because okay. obviously, any girl that wants to be with... A guy isn't going to be or okay with that. Or a guy that wants to be with a girl. Or a guy that wants to be with a girl isn't going to want that. Isn't going to say, yeah, sure, that's fine. He gets a pass. It's part of the process. No, no, it's not. Yeah. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be. And we, Becca proved that. Mm-hmm. Kiss and Sean Lowe. The process. Sean Lowe never Becca chose not to do anyone. it and got the rose. So mm-hmm. I don't think that's part of the process. And I don't think she needed to say that. And it was a joke. All right. So yeah. thoughts on the okay, date. Okay. But I do like it. Did we like the date? Overall, oh, I like the good. date. I liked the date. I thought it was fun. I liked how they were rolling around in the little ball in Costco. Yeah, that was fun. And I thought their kiss in that little was cute because it was just like they were natural. Disagree. Hated really? that kiss. Why? He stole, I just oh, spilled I loved water. It. That's how much I hate that kiss. Oh. Because he stole it and then he goes, oh, I just snuck one right in there. I hate oh, it. Well, it was weird. Well, I didn't I listen that to that part. They they mentioned that her laugh is manly and his laugh yeah, is girly. girly. So true. I hated that, that kiss. That was funny. Though. He was just like laugh. looking at her and then just yeah. like really? did it. And she kind of went like this. <laughs> and he goes, chicken what are you and he, goes he goes, sorry, I snuck one right in there. I thought it was I thought it seemed natural. He, like they no. were, they were laughing, he's having fun. Her really? Back. So, Danny, are you thinking that he's just no. being a little too assertive? He's taking he's, too much, too many opportunities. He's he just being does opportunistic. It feels like. I think he's just kissing too many people. If I was bachelorette, I mean, I would kiss he's a good a amount of guys. But yeah, he's kissing everyone. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> it's too much. It's too okay. much kissing. I mean, it's too much. I wrote down who he, who he kissed tonight. He kissed uh, Caitlin. Carly, Quality over quantity. Right. Chris. Amber Chris. Jillian. Whitney, Jade, and Ashley I. And Take Amber. It. He kissed Amber, too. And Amber. Yeah. yeah. Twice. Yeah, well, I had her on the list. Okay. Okay. So, let's move on to... Well, I forgot to say, hey, if you guys are watching us live, hello. If you're not watching us live, go to iTunes. Let us know what you think. Give go us five stars. Blowing up the chat roll right now. Whoa. Yes. Oh, shoot. Send us some questions, and we'll answer them live. <laughs> All right. So, let's move on to the group date. And this group is, date? We got pig wrestling. Goat milking, hey. shoveling manure. This yes. is cool. Of all the group dates I've seen, this might be one of my more favorite group dates because the competition element, and it was clever. Yeah. It was creative. Mm-hmm. It was practical for Chris to see some of this. Not that like he's going to make them do that, but to see who handles it. Well, yeah. like, he's not he a said, legit farmer. He doesn't say have... she's allergic to milk, which you're, if you're lactose intolerant, you can still drink goat milk, but yeah. she does it anyways. And then the girl from Austin, Kelsey, I believe her name mm-hmm. is, yeah. that she was basically throwing up and still did it like the take Lady balls, mm-hmm. as Kathy likes yes, to say. Lady which balls. I love that term. We also <laughs> learned that Amber doesn't like salty, warm things in her, in her mouth. mouth. Yeah. Oh, you can't say that with a straight face. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again, Kathy. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> say her name. Come on. Amber. A- Amber doesn't like salty, warm things in her mouth. Yeah. Okay. Done. Nailed it. Good job. Good yeah. job. Yeah. She got through it. She got Just through it. Reference. This is Amber. <laughs> that was difficult, guys. It, Does not like salty things. Okay, Danny, let it go. And that's over. why she's no longer, no longer on the show. No. All right, let's move on to more she's serious matters. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, she's gone. Jillian getting pumped up for this thing. Oh, she was, she was all beast over mode. this. Whoa. Beast mode for sure. Jumping over the fence. I think, like, I she mean, if a guy's me into <laughs> girls that can throw him up against a wall, she. Yeah. Yeah. She needs yeah. to date someone who's like a CrossFit person she or something. She is a CrossFit person. I know. Person. She needs somebody like that. I don't think Chris is like living up to her her strength and her power. I think it'll let go of the little bar thing on her booty. Uh, uh, yeah. Really stop that. Oh, and they should have like a... And Kathy and I were like, holy crap, she's got pecs, man. She's just like jacked. <laughs> she's yeah. so jacked. No, okay, so, okay, Danny. Break down what we saw here. This is okay. We we already talked about Brittany auditioning for American Gladiators, not Brittany uh, Jillian. But let's talk about corn shucking. Have you ever done that? Corn yeah. shucking. Yeah, I'm from Nebraska. Okay, of course I've shucked some freaking. Corn. Okay, and we've all cracked some eggs, milked some goats. I have milked a cow. <laughs> I used to have to get eggs in the morning at my dad's farm. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys got some farm right. experience? I don't. Do you? Sh- no. no. You see these hands? <laughs> Shoveling manure. I have shoveled manure. I've I dug holes when using dirt, which is pretty similar, but I have shoveled manure. 
And okay. Good for you, Danny. Good for you. Have you wrestled a pig? <laughs> I have never wrestled a pig. I have touched a pig with my hands. I eat a lot of bacon. I eat a ton of bacon. <laughs> I love bacon. I had bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. Not wrapped. They Ooh. were like sauteed in bacon tonight. Ooh. And I also had bacon on my cheeseburger that was grass fed by a cow. What? <laughs> you like the beef. <laughs> that was, that right. was my shout out to Kelly. All right, but let's talk about, we've talked about Jillian, but let's talk about Carly. 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 Carly, who came out of nowhere. She's going for hey, it. Hey, her and her eyebrows came out of nowhere. And you know what? Oh. She did a great job being assertive and going after it. I give her props for she that. She's the one with lady Zach balls. Zach would be proud. The weird part yeah. for me was when she rejoiced at the end and her boobs were covered in goat milk. <laughs> Well, she gave it her all. I mean, come on. And then she walks right up to Chris and is clean. Like, actually, I really enjoyed that shirt he was wearing. It was a great shirt. And <laughs> Do you just gets her, shirt her boob covered goat milk all over his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I like the American Gothic remake with uh, Jimmy Kimmel, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good. What's, what's that? What? What's that? The American Gothic the picture. Pick. The picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the farmer that and was, his wife. That was the best one. Cute. If I'm Chris, I'm framing that. That's awesome. And I want Jimmy to sign it. Especially if Carly doesn't win. He, no, just the one of him and Jimmy. I know. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Moving on. Let's move on to the night portion of the day where we have... Okay, that's a full blown makeout session, Lauren. That, yes. That's what was bothering me. What's up? The whole what? we 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 already touched on this, but just kissing everyone, and then is, is this is this one Mackenzie yes. asked? Okay, that drove me crazy too. She said, "What she said? She said, why are you kissing everyone?'" It was no, that the was way. Later. It was later when Mackenzie asked. It that. was the way oh. that she approached Mm-mm. it, though. I think that you can go into something like that being confident and making a joke out of it, yeah. making it very lighthearted. Exactly. And she he was so been, serious. The way that he took it was very serious because of the way that she, she said, it. said it. It was almost, it wasn't confrontational, but it almost was. Yeah. In a nice way. Yeah. But you I mean, She's got to know, yeah, she's got to know that that's going to happen. It wasn't though. just, it, she showed her age a little bit. There's a exactly. way, it's okay to ask that. But she showed that she was 21, and, and it's it wasn't the way you should properly ask yeah. that. Yeah, but it's, way. it's also not a normal situation. Like, to if you're dating someone, you don't... I would hope you wouldn't see them making out with someone else. Well, I think she was a little tipsy, and here's why. Because when she goes back, like, her mannerisms... I know she can be, like, a little quirky weird, which is fine. I actually really enjoy girls that are quirky, but when she goes back and she tells the girls on the couch what she did, it was like a confession, almost like a word vomit situation. Yeah. yeah. And she kind of says it, and then she was like, oh my god, he hates me. And she <laughs> like does this face, and like, what, are you yeah. in control of your actions right now? I think now? you're right on that it shows her age. Yeah, I think it was a little mm-hmm. bit like a loosey-goosey yeah. slash, uh, slash age situation. She yeah. knew going into it, it was going to be awkward. Yeah. yeah. And she still did it anyways. Yeah. For sure. Not mad at her for asking. Yeah. Just yeah. think it was weird how she it's did just it. just kind of the way. Yeah. And yeah. we've, we've and talked. Yeah. She's well, let's, herself, while we're talking about this. That's true. His answer was terrible. Oh, That's what so I wanted bad. to ask His you. Response? You guys objected to where he just didn't know what to say. Yeah. This entire episode was... I think the running theme was Chris isn't good with making he's not good sentences. With, he's not good at forming. A, he's just not well spoken. No good words. Yeah. What, what was he's he nice. supposed he's to sweet. say? How was he to disarm her? What would he? What was he supposed to say? I think he could have said back to her, this is part of the process for me. This is something that's important to me. I want to feel the chemistry and not just emotional or verbal, but I want to know the physical side of the chemistry. I'm not taking it past that, but kissing is okay for me, and that's how I want to, and that's, I'm choosing yeah, to do Yeah, that's what you're supposed and to do. How, if I would answer that question, ladies, that way, yeah. one at a time, how do you feel? That's Would a, you feel like I appropriately Well, that's a good question? answer. Yeah. He was just like, um, I don't know. How do you um, feel? I would say, uh... If I said that answer... I, I mean, yeah. Suffice? Yeah. Did that answer no, your I question? No, I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I love that we're moving into... The heart of this moment, I think, was Becca. Yeah. And then you, 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 you said it so well, how she made him wait. Yeah. The chase. Mm-hmm. And, and now he seems... I think he's a little more interested. He's intrigued. Because, like you said, it's very early on well, in the process. Here's my thing. There are some girls that do that. They play that card as a a girl a part did it on game. Jake Pavelka's season. Yeah, I and they do it that. as part of a game. Like, well, I'm gonna hold out and make you want it more. And it's not a game. She did it as a this is really how I feel a mm-hmm. respect thing. And he saw that sparkle right away. You could see that she's, I think she's on another level than a lot of these a lot of these girls. And you saw that right away. Mm-hmm. I almost like that more. Not playing the game, but like. The anticipation for the first kiss is almost Huge. cooler or like a better feeling yeah. than 
Of course, yeah. especially when he's kissing so many girls. Like, yeah, I would want to like, do that too. You wouldn't want to have like, your first kiss with your future husband after he's just had makeout sessions with, everyone. with six different <laughs> girls the same night. Tell yeah. you what, if America didn't love Becca already, she won a huge part, especially of Middle America. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for that, sure. With that moment alone. Good yeah. move, Becca. Good yeah. move. And speaking of winning by you know Middle America, the next day, Whitney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that day. I, I, to me, it just had a little bit of everything. Yeah. We have, we had the wine, mm-hmm. we had the wedding crashing, and... I yeah. didn't see it there before. Really? And I feel what like she's a good yin to his yang. Like, mm-hmm. I could see her fitting in with his lifestyle. It seemed so comfortable yeah. towards the end of the date, especially, like, when they were at the wedding, um, dancing. Yeah, you could um, definitely see chemistry with yeah. them. And when he was hugging her at the end of the night, he, he was such a good hug. I, I could tell of, he was, like, feeling it. I wonder, though, if it was because they didn't have that added pressure of the cameras being around. Since the cameras had to Oh, God, that would help back, so much. You were able to form a more... Uh, like a better connection because you're even though you're being watched mm-hmm. you're yeah. not being hovered over Absolutely. I want to say this about Whitney I, I know I said this on the first show her voice annoyed me kind of at first and I, I know other people wrote about that but then when you realize what she's about you kind of forget that I noticed tonight right when she started talking I think we even said like oh like that girl with the voice that's kind of one of the first things you notice but within 30 seconds of her being on the date. I didn't notice you it anymore. It. I yeah. f- completely forgot about it. That's Especially good. then they start hanging and laughing and then she walks out. When she was in all black in the limo, holy crap, she looked gorgeous. She did. Yeah. She looked pretty. We have to talk about whether we think that it was producers that planned that or it was a spur of the moment yeah. decision. I think it was a spur of the moment thing. Just the way that they, they turned to producers and were like, hey, can we do can yeah. we actually Agreed. do this? A spur of the moment and then they made it work. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I was kind of possibly disagreeing with you on that earlier but I I don't know like I I do the think the way it was shot they even said they're like producers had to also crash the party and like film Self it with their phones right right that's I mean, cool. Lauren, I, I hope I really hope it was that's so on the cool. spur of the moment yeah I mean cuz that would be awesome I thought so he asked her he's like are you able to make friends easily like I love when a girl can walk into a room and just like befriend anyone right. mm-hmm. which I think is a cool trait for either gender but yeah um when she said, she's just like, oh, yeah, I make friends with a lot of people. It's like, oh, do you really? And then seeing her in action. <laughs> oh, do you no, really? <laughs> be, because people say that all the time. Oh, yeah, like, I can make friends with yeah. anyone. And then you go into a room and, like, they, they don't. They're, like, yeah. sit on her the phone about by themselves. But Shannon and I, you know, and then we kind of reconnected. Yeah. He's like, oh, because she does makeup. At oh, this point, oh, yeah. you can tell they know that they're that he's the bachelor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's like, oh, because she does makeup. That's what they associate, like, because she's doing stuff with TV. And she plays right along with the yeah, joke. Yeah, she did a really good job. Like, They're like, they do you, said, do you are you do a makeup, makeup artist too? as well? Oh, God, no. She's like, that's, that's why, why I need Shannon. Said, yeah. yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> so it was improv perfect. one-on-one. Yeah. It's what you do. Yeah. I love that moment. He yeah, would not good. have been able to carry no. that. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been done. He would have been toast. For sure. Yeah, and she took charge from the get. You notice usually he's the one asking the questions, but no, this time Whitney was the one asking him the questions. If you notice when the date started, yeah. she immediately was, she was like a fire She went right into it, so yeah. what are you looking for? Yeah. And she seems she, like she actually really likes him, because, you know, there are definitely girls there who are, like, putting it on, oh, I like this guy, but in real life, Caitlin. they're pro- probably not that interested. But Whitney seems really interested, and she teared up when she got the date card. And that yeah. seemed genuine to me. I thought she well, was also, really excited. she hadn't been out she of the house. Yeah, yeah. Like, which gets really stressful. <laughs> yeah. Totally understandable. All right, so let's quickly move on now to not cocktail, pool party and roses. Pool so, party. Some girls were legit upset, like Ashley legit. I, who couldn't do her Kardashian look. Oh yeah. What was that? Poor what's thing? A, what's it, Kathy? What is a Kardashian look? She always she has a Kardashian. Like Kardashian. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's lashes. It's contoured. It's um, a lot of makeup. Tan. Yeah. Makeup. It's uh, overlining your lips to make them look bigger. Um, Oh. I'm not a I'm not a fan I, of the Kardashian like, look. Hmm. I think, yeah. But I think she's cute. She she's a pretty girl. She yeah. has good skin. She and doesn't like need her the complexion Kardashian. Yeah. Is great. Yeah. I don't think she needs it. Mm-hmm. You know, to a show that had so many peaks and valleys tonight, because we had the high of highs and the mm-hmm. goofiness of Costco, and then we have Julia's story once again. Oh we revisit God. that, and I didn't know. And Kathy, you brought this up. It's like, how do you go from? the tragic story of Julia's story and then to back to a pool party yeah. Yeah. how difficult that must be so let's give Chris some credit on that as well he handled that very well and I think that f- credit to her for opening up yeah. about that because yeah. it couldn't have been 
um, her ideal situation for telling him. Right. Um, I feel like it'd be hard to go in, to, especially to go on reality TV and like have ha- something like that have happened to you. It's like. Because you don't want to, like, in real life, you wouldn't bring that up on a first date, a second date. I feel like that, you you know, you'd go out and then you get to know the person and then you bring it up. But on The Bachelor, you kind of have to yeah. tell your story and you have to put it out there or, like, he's not going to really know who you are. I, honestly, with something like that, I think it is something you would need to bring up fairly early on yeah. in a relationship. Like, I'm all about, like, communication. You totally lay everything out there and the person's going to like you at the end of the day. Yeah, or like they're going to like you or they're not. Right. Regardless. I guess what I like, you know? like when you go out front, like on a first date, like you want to have fun and be and like not be crying, you know. So it's like yeah. it's just a hard situation because like you want to you want to get him, you want him to know who you are, and you have to tell your story. But then now all of a sudden, like you're crying, well, he's consoling you. That's and, what like, she kind of did. She told him earlier, like a little bit, but she didn't tell him the full story. So it's kind of the same thing where you know on a first date you might say. She might have mentioned, okay, you know, I was married before. I do have a kid. I want to tell you that story. Yeah. Um, it's not maybe the most ideal first date conversation, but mm-hmm. yeah. it is something that I, I want to share with yeah, you. Yeah, so it's like she a part gave of a lot more am. details than I expected her to give, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. I mean, um, that was really intense. But, you yeah. know, we give Chris a hard time not being so articulate, but one thing you do see is that genuine heart. He cares yeah. about he listens. her. Yeah. He's really there. He's in. He's... He's not. He's not thinking about the part. He's. He's devoting your. He have his undivided attention. Yeah. And he really means it from the heart. So yeah. I think that's very he endearing should, about too. him. Yeah. But there's also other moments. Yeah. Back I mean, to yes. I was just gonna say my heart goes out to her because I was like on the brink of tears hearing her story. Yeah. Um, really sad. And yeah, I can't even imagine that kind of pain to go through and then want to put yourself back out there again. Yeah. And like, she has a good attitude. Yeah. She seemed like to have a good attitude. Hopefully this is that turning point where now maybe if they go on a one-on-one that we just see her be a little more easy breezy and yeah. they, we just get to know them on a fun level. Yeah. You know, I'd like that. So, But now speaking of some past people from past weeks that were in the lead, I say Britt, mm-hmm. she came in needing a little reassurance. Mm-hmm. She, okay, so this is what I equate it to. Britt versus Ashley I. Or no, uh, versus Mackenzie. The way that you approach, hey, you've made out with a lot of girls. Yeah. She did it in a good way. Yeah. Um, where yeah. she's like, hey, like, you know, we, we started off real hot and then, um, you know, there's been some time. So, and he's like explaining himself and she just goes in <laughs> for the kiss again. Yeah. Like, that's the cute. Clearly, there's still chemistry there. Yeah. Um, she didn't let it get to her too much. Okay. So. She's got a little bit more game, I think. <laughs> oh, speaking of game, did any other people come up in this portion of the show? Let's say maybe like Jade. Oh, in the wow! Heels. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> they were, what, she they came were on high hot. heels. She did. I mean, so thoughts on her uh, assertive little move there? Not mad about the idea. It's creative to it's get some alone time. Chris forward. wasn't mad about it. But she's like, she's <laughs> she's a smart one. She's like, I've never seen your place before. Girl, you were there two weeks ago. <laughs> Liar. That, that was a lie. <laughs> she's like, bed. Um, yeah, she's like, is your bed comfortable? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, Good one, Jade. She, she knows That's what the she's equivalent doing. of like the yawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yawn stretch. What's the yawn stretch? <laughs> Oh, the come on. Stretch. You know the and it's also, You know that the distance yeah, from she, here to it. here is the same as it is from here to here, which is the same as it is from here to here. Oh! <laughs> oh. If y'all didn't see that, mind blown. Oh, oh my God. Wait. I've yeah. never heard Kathy's that Kathy's got so much game. Oh, my God. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so many moves. I'm going to start talking about the game. Break about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two. Now, okay, so... <laughs> The Jade. super awkward moment. Oh. No, I already moved on. Oh, okay. Unless you want to oh, no. dissect this one a little more. Nope. We, it's cute. Let's move on. She, Let's... she. I don't think she was a front runner before. Like, he thought she was cute, but I don't know, especially as a viewer, she didn't stand out to me, and now she's in the game. She, she no. Week one, when she came out of the limo, yes. He was clearly taken by her. Yeah. She was but stunning. She, also, if you you can be gorgeous, and I feel like it's a, a house full of gorgeous girls, mm-hmm. so you have to have the personality to back it up. Mm-hmm. Well said. Back, uh, back, back, back it, it up. up. <laughs> but now, the super awkward moment, the jacuzzi. Oh, gosh, that was... Yeah, this made me like Jillian less. Yeah. Me, yeah, Why? me too. She's competitive, yeah. but not in a good way. It's competitive, but not in a good... It's not like a... I, agree, I have to agree with Ashley I... 
there's a little bit of you gain friends in the house, you gain favor, you gain America, you gain not that you're doing it for those reasons, but you be a team player in a sense. Yeah. You don't steal all the time. You realize it's not just about you. Granted, you take your shots when you have them. Yeah. But you can't steal all this time. Yeah. He's gonna pick up on that too. Girls that are nice to other girls says so much more about of who they course, are. Of course, yeah. And I'm not saying Jillian's not a bad person, but this just made me like her. It made me want to do this a little bit. I think with Jillian though. The reason why she kept him is because she's actually not confident. She's insecure. What I see in her is that she is insecure in their connection. She sees it with the other girls. She's like, I need this time. Um, And that's kind of where it came from. Because the girls who are more confident in themselves and their connection with Chris, like Britt um, or, you know, whoever else, like they are, they take their time. They know that they had a great moment and... They move mm-hmm. on. Yep. Like they, they let the other girls get time with him. Yeah, I did not like that. No? I didn't like that either. And I thought it was weird to be one of the girls trying to go over and get the time in the hot tub. Like to go with, with two or three people over to the hot tub with, when there's one other person. Like I would never do that. Well, they didn't. I, would, I, I would never would have done that. They were insecure as well. They were worried yeah. and just chill. So let, it, let it happen. Switch the situation and put a Whitney. Yeah. In that situation, Whitney wants her time. She comes over and Jillian's like, "Oh, I just unscrewed this. I've only been here two minutes." She'd be like, "I'd be like, I'm sorry, okay, I'm gonna she, go." She would have said some things that would have changed it. I think Whitney would have handled that differently. Yeah. Than say, if you explain it, like, "Hey, you know, like I, you got to go on a date this week, so you did have some time with him. I haven't gotten to see him yeah. in however many days. Yeah. And I, I just really want like a couple minutes alone. Like that would mean yeah. so much to me. So for me, was- for me, I wouldn't. Well, I was just gonna say I. I wouldn't say any of that in front of him. Like, I wouldn't, like, or you know how they had their little argument, the two girls? I wouldn't have been like, well, you had time, you know, you've already had your time. Like, I wouldn't do any of that in front of They were whoever discussing the things that are understood as part of the process. Bachelor world, yeah. yeah. They were discussing that in front of him, which we get, but I, I don't think that's something you discuss. It's not it's not given to you. It's just kind of understood. It's how you right. should do it. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. It was awkward. I think it was, it was awkward, awkward for Chris and Jillian made it more awkward. If I were Chris, I probably would have spoke up and said something. Yeah. Yeah. I would have taken charge. And I think I would have liked to see him take charge. Yeah, he needs to take charge a little bit. He, he did should've. that last season, you know, when he was on Bachelorette. And I've yet to see that this season where he just puts his foot down. He did that once or twice where you're like, whoa, okay. Yeah. He's been mostly oh, giggles. You're right. and he's yeah. No, but, okay, so now let's move on to yeah. Ashley and Chris. That whole interaction mm-hmm. where she was voicing her distress and whatnot. And how did he handle that? Were we okay with that? Where she was just kind of going kind of ballistic. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was towards the end. It was actually Ashley I. Ashley I. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Who did I say? We did not no, see Ashley, Ashley, Ashley I, S right? at all. Yes. No, this so disappointing. I was bummed by. We didn't see yeah. Sammy either, and yeah. Sammy got a rose, and we didn't see it. She, she was like the second girl to get a rose. Yeah. I'm still waiting to find out who Nikki is. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> who? No, I'm kidding. I know. Who no, but we story. haven't really seen any yeah. screen time with him. But okay, in in a second. But how did Chris handle that with Ashley? I well, besides uh, saving them from falling off the roof. <laughs> yeah. Like the Holy job. moly. Um, that that was not awkward good too. Chemistry. No, no, yeah, well, no. She's, she's like over the stand. top. Is she, it like a Jamie Otis? Case? She looks hungry it's for like, his face. It's she's like she's, thirsty. Yeah, she's thirsty. It's, it's she was like she's half too much. She was half standing. I think she's overcompensating for being a virgin. That's what it looks yes, like. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. But also, okay, so Who's this the is the other virgin, real quick. We don't uh, know. It's a mystery. So we find that out next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's Chris. I didn't realize. That. <laughs> I don't think it is either. <laughs> you guys I'm pretty mind. sure it's but not. I I do want to say about Ashley. I I think that in any other situation. Um, if she was outside of the house dating someone, I don't think she would be that I don't think over so either. the top or dramatic. I think that her being in the house brings out those insecurities. Oh, totally, yeah. Um, as it would with anyone. The house mm-hmm. does that. We know that from... Oh, it does. Yes, actually, yes, yes. <laughs> Tell us. What does the house do to you? You were It there. makes you crazy. Because, I mean, you're, little, you're, you're sequestered from the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, your, iPhone, your, your iPhone's taken, your computer's taken, you can't talk to your family. You're around... Some crazy people, and then really big personalities, and 
you gotta you gotta be able to get along with people, and if you if you're not one of those people, and if you're insecure at all, if you it's gonna get to you. yourself to other girls. Yeah, you can't yeah. compare where you are versus where other people are in the relationship because you never know what's going on. You never know what's going on with producers, the show, what this person's really thinking. Like it's a whole yeah. world you're stuck in, and Out, you can't get out of it. Outside of the house, I compare myself to other girls, so I can't even imagine like yeah. being there. And you know, if you're dating someone and you kind of like know that they're dating someone else or dating yeah. other people outside of this whole scenario. Yeah. That brings out insecurities. But then actually knowing for a fact that the guy you're dating is dating yeah. all these other girls. And I think, like, at least with me, I, I knew where I stood. Like, I knew where I was. I knew when I was going home. I knew everything, you know? So, like, I feel like most of the time people kind of know where they stand. So some of the girls start to get more, <laughs> like, insecure as... As, it, as the next rose ceremony comes, you know, oh, and other yeah. people, because I always felt safe when I knew when I knew yeah. I was safe. So was it easy for you? You you got to have a little more fun. Could you say that? Uh, or no, well, I mean I had a blast. I had a blast being on the show. The week I went home is when I started to get a little bit uh, um, emotional. Well, not mm. r- really. There's more going on behind the scenes, but but yeah, it just gets stressful. And like for us, for a lot of girls on Juan Pablo season, it was a different situation because. Uh, a lot of people weren't feeling him and they have to make it look like they they are. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's a whole kind of game. It's a whole game and dance with the whole show. So it's it's interesting. But the magic of television. The magic of television. Yeah, yeah. So let's move on to our ladies who got roses and who didn't. Were we surprised? I'm I'm not gonna go through everyone that got a rose. Let's talk about who didn't get a rose. Um Amber, I'm surprised that she didn't get a rose considering that they made out twice. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Ashley S is still there taking a rose. Yeah, what like, is what? going on with that? I don't know. I just don't get why we didn't see any of her. We went from seeing a ton of her. It kind of goes for me, it kind of goes with your theory that what you said last week. You said that, here's Ashley S, if you guys can remember her face. No. We saw a lot of crazy moments with her, and Kathy, you said something to the effect of if he keeps her one more week, one more week, he's going to start to look crazy. If they would have shown her being crazy this week, yeah. and then he kept her, yeah, I agree with looks, you, but because they didn't, yeah. right. he doesn't look crazy. It just makes us all go, huh? <laughs> Maybe right. she's not crazy. Maybe she's not crazy, oh, or they didn't crazy. show us any of it, and they're going to show it next week. Although I did love that one moment where... Um, I know exactly. They were on the group date, and oh, yeah. he's giving out the rose. He gives it to, to Becca, Becca and, she goes, and she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? What does "roll the cob" mean? Yeah, no one knows. It's a. I kind of enjoyed that sexual innuendo. We it's had a going. phrase that Chris made up. <laughs> What's rolling the cob? You lived in Iowa. I'm from Nebraska. I've never heard of I've that. I've never heard of that before. Go yeah. with the flow. Roll with the cob. I worked he in says the cornfields. That was my shit. first job. Oh, that's yeah. That's what he said. Shooting. The, yeah. Be able to but go with how, the what does that have to do with a cob? I don't know. I have zero idea. <laughs> Corny humor. I don't know. Oh, can I also wah, can I also wah, say I one more thing? You got a pun. You're so punny. Sorry. Um. I just want to say something real quick too. About can I go back to Whitney and Chris for a minute? The Matt White song that we were talking about. Oh yeah. Um, the love and affection song that was played all throughout Desiree season. Who got married? You know, and, and let me just say, I watch. I paid close attention to that season because I knew I was going on the next one. Um, and the Matt White song played every time Chris was on a on a date with Desiree, and she ended up picking Chris. Oh. And so I like. So Chris, I'm thinking yeah. maybe. I'm thinking maybe Chris is going to pick Whitney because that love and affection song yeah. just played again during the That's early. wedding. I'm just I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying or they play it. They do things like that, little tricks. But you know? if you notice, they had to play the same song that was playing at the wedding at that time because. So maybe that's just what was playing at the wedding. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. Hmm. Just a thought. Just a thought <laughs> I was like, having. Well, I wanted to share. Okay, Tracy. I was kind of sad. I thought there would have been something with Tracy, the school teacher. You know. Oh. Oh, she showed so much promise, and then and Amber as well. Trina and I really didn't, see, we didn't see much of yeah, her either. So, any surprises for you guys? A happy, sad. We all we already talked about Ashley S. Staying, so that was a big surprise. Yeah, um, Ashley I getting the last row <laughs> and rolling her eyes, and looking which like she's was kill him. <laughs> which was so predictable because she said she said out loud in front of producers and Chris that she doesn't want to be she wants to be you called to call early her, yeah. in the night. I'm like. Girl, why would you say that they're going to call you last? I'm surprised he <laughs> picked Brit so late in the 
Yeah. I think she's like ninth or something yeah. in the order. Yeah. So. There's, I don't know. All right, so. The Jade slip was funny, too, and then he picked her first. Oh, yeah. that was funny, yeah. She still, I love still that, had it on the mind. The one line from Jimmy Kimmel where he's like, make better speeches. Oh, he said, whatever you do, don't be yourself. Be someone who gives better speeches. Yes. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> so if, they, funny. if they taped that after he gave that awful speech. Or <laughs> if it was referencing night one. I don't know, but Maybe. it was good. Jimmy had a bunch of, li- uh, what was the other one? God made him the bachelor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had time. So, all right. So, anything left to say for the episode before news and gossip? No, news and gossip. What do we have on the news and gossip front? Kathy Cupcake, anything? Thank you. I don't know. I don't (laughs) look um, it up anymore. What's happening in Bachelor? Well, there was a wedding yesterday, right? Of course. Dez's wedding yesterday. Dez and Chris are married. There's a lot of people in town for it. Yeah. Yeah, And of course, and there's also uh, Renee. Renee Renee. had her baby. She had her baby. Jackson's here. Yes, seven pounds, three ounces of delightful joy. Congratulations. Congrats, Renee. And (laughs) any, any, any more? Anything? It's late. Hey, remember that Andy and Josh broke up? Oh, yeah. What? I don't know. Any updates on that? I have still not received my phone call from Andy. Oh, so that's the gosh. update. You I'm keep sorry, us posted, Danny. Danny. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One day. One day. Let's move on to predicciones. Predicciones. And now, what do we see next week? They didn't really show TV. much, really. Did they? Except, except for oh. two virgins. Oh, I think next week is when the whole tent thing is going to happen. I think so, too. Yeah. think so? Yeah. It looked like it. Who do we think is in the tent? I think... Jade. I said it from the beginning. Oh, I think you, I think you, you might be right. I thought it was Jade or Caitlyn. Jade, mm. the way she, like, just fell on that bed. That looked... Yeah. Almost... Soft core. Sexual. <laughs> sexual seduction. Like, a little bit more than PG-13. Like, a PG-17. Yeah. Um, Not quite an NC-17. Yeah, but, PG-13. like, in the middle, like, you know, somewhere. But... Like a it 15. was scandalous. PG 15 and a half. PG-15 Obviously, and we and do half. not have any predictions on who makes it to the 10 except for Danny. Who, who do we think is the other virgin? Okay. Do you think that they're going to give him their their cherry? Their, I have, v, their I have V card? A, I have a theory. <laughs> Who's, what's your theory? I have a theory. <laughs> Would you like to do share with share. the rest of the class? <laughs> that it's Becca. Uh, oh, I could see that. that. Yeah. Okay. I could see that. What about Whitney? Possible. We could see that too. She makes babies for a living. Afterbuzz TV. Who never do you think is okay? Two questions for you at home. Who do you think's in the tent, and who is the other virgin? We'll leave it at that. Know. I just, uh, we don't know. These are such bizarre questions. Yeah. Not be allowed. Our YouTube comments to are gonna be, be asked. Let's get out of here, Lauren. Where can they find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Lauren S O L. Hey, Kathy. You can find me on Twitter at. Catherine Kelly on Instagram at Kathy Kelly and Danny and I just started this web series called Show MG, which you should check out online. Yeah, we did. It's oh, what's it about? What's it about? This episode was about Hollywood's most uneligible bachelors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the guys that got wiped up, locked up, or knocked somebody up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy running the booth. Where can we find you? <laughs> Uh, you Thank can, you. You can find me at Danny Hoyt on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> and you can find me at JC Rubio TV on Instagram and Twitter. Find all of us at AfterBuzz TV. Good night, everybody. Good night. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.